In today's video, I'm sharing with you five easy ways to slow down. Let's get right into it. This video is going to have a great emphasis on people who have a busy lifestyle. These tips are going to be super, super simple, very basic. And I think it's a really great way to start slow living. If you haven't started before, you just don't know where to start, or you feel like you can't start because your life is simply too chaotic and busy. These tips are going to help you incorporate super simple and basic lifestyle changes so that you can build from it. And for a little bit of context, I get this question so often across all of my social media and my newsletter. And people are just asking me like, how do you make the time for slow living or slow living practices? And I think a lot of us associate the term slow living, specifically slow, with extra time, having extra time so that you can incorporate these slow living practices. But in reality, what I have done in my experience, I have just made the most out of the time that I already have and made the most out of the routines that I have already established. And I try to encourage other people to do the exact same thing because again, it's a really great starting point and you can always build from there. And once you start getting comfortable with these five tips that I'll go through, you're gonna eventually get more comfortable to add on to it, to build from it. And then next thing you know it, slow living is just going to be your lifestyle. Let's jump into this though. The first tip that I have is to create a mini slow living routine. Now I already mentioned we're trying to make the most out of the routines and lifestyle habits that we already have established in our life but I'm gonna encourage you to focus on the mini part of this tip and so what I mean by a mini slow living routine I mean something in the morning when you wake up if you have to wake up 15 minutes earlier than you usually do and establish a routine there yes you can have a slow living routine done in 15 minutes or less I have a blog post on this or you can do uh, in an evening routine if you prefer to do things in the evening. You can do a lunchtime routine if you have a lunch break and I would hope that most of us, if not all of us, have a lunch break in the middle of the day or some part of the middle of the day. Or you can have a cluster of mini breaks throughout your entire day. So I'm trying to make this as accessible as possible. I know not everybody can wake up 15 minutes early or it's very difficult for people to wake up 15 minutes early. Personally, that's what I ended up doing. And I know other people are super exhausted in the evening and so they do not have the energy to work on something in the evening. Totally understandable. If you have some energy in the middle of the day during your lunch break, all you need is 15 minutes or less. And if you do not have a lunch break or you simply don't have enough time during your lunch break to create a routine, try to break things up into five minute segments throughout your day. You should be getting up at least for five minutes every once in a while throughout the day. You shouldn't be sitting down all day long. And even if your job or schoolwork or whatever it may be does require you to sit for long periods of time, I still encourage you to get up, move around, things like that. You, you have to do it for your mind, body, and soul. Uh, if you need specific tips on this, on how to literally build a routine from start to finish in 15 minutes or less, like I said, I have a blog post with ideas in there, how to set things up, how to actually schedule it in, all of those things. I could do an entire video on that, but I do have a blog post, so I will link it down below. Okay, tip number two is to romanticize one thing in your day to day. So I use this example a lot and I talk about romanticizing things a lot. That's pretty much the premise of my social media, but romanticizing things in your day to day is going to make those things all the more special to you and something to look forward to every single day. It makes you just a bit more excited to wake up every day and look forward to something, if that makes sense. I hope I didn't cluster my words there, but I hope that made sense. And once we start romanticizing one thing, we tend to want to do it to other things that we really like doing. So like I said, this is something that you can absolutely build from. But for example, uh, take it from my Instagram account. I love to romanticize making my morning cup of coffee. I make it a whole thing. I film the entire experience because I really, really like stretching out this one thing as part of my morning routine. And it doesn't have to be making coffee for you. It can be whatever it is that you look forward to every single day. And it doesn't have to be in the morning. It can be at any time of the day. Maybe it's like that one particular podcast that you like to put on at a specific time in the day to kind of get your vibe in a more positive place but just a reminder that you can also make certain responsibilities a vibe so i'm talking about making morning coffee and that's just something indulgent in itself 
but let's think about other things that are more responsibility focused such as having to make dinner at the end of the day sometimes a lot of people feel really exhausted and drained and not motivated to make a meal at the end of the day and i'm not saying that you have to but if this is a responsibility of yours try making it into a vibe sometimes i put on a really feel good playlist i put on a feel good youtube video i put on a good podcast whatever it may be uh, make it a vibe and then suddenly this responsibility is not so draining exhausting and of a negative experience if that makes sense okay tip number three use slow living prompts for journaling reflecting or conversation i have prompts all over the place on my social media in my newsletters by the way my newsletter is a weekly newsletter and it goes out every monday morning if you did not know that's always linked in my description box. But yeah, these prompts are really great to incorporate in your routine and they take no time. You can really start with one prompt and it will take you a couple of minutes to simply think about the prompt and answer it in your own head. If you want to take this another step further, you can create conversation starters out of these prompts. Maybe there is somebody that you live with, maybe you have a partner, a family member, whoever it is, you can start conversations with these prompts. And I think that encourages a positive experience around these prompts, so it will kind of entice you to want to keep doing them if you're the conversation starter type of person. But of course, you can always use these to journal and that journaling session can be part of your morning routine, PM routine, lunchtime routine, whatever it is that, that I talked about in tip number one. It takes no time at all and this is another one that you can absolutely build from. All of these you can absolutely build from, but this one is super, super basic, I feel, and can start from just one simple prompt. Okay, tip number four is to dedicate 10 minutes a day to a personal interest or hobby. Once again, you can build from here and talking from personal experience, I used to have 10 minutes of reading per day as part of my morning routine. You may have seen that in previous vlogs. And now it is not part of my morning routine because now I have built up the habit of picking up this interest, picking up this hobby every single day or mostly every single day and participating in that for an extended period of time. So now I read for like 30 to 45 minutes every reading session as opposed to the 10 minutes every single morning. But the 10 minutes every single morning was a really great effort in me building the habit into my day-to-day -day routine. So I hope that makes sense. Once again, I know we're all busy people and it can get exhausting and we can tend to push our personal interests and hobbies to the side to another day to another weekend because we simply have too much responsibilities going on but 10 minutes really goes by super quickly you'll be surprised but it does make a difference and it does build a habit so give it a try okay and the last tip is to step outside for a minute <laughs> this is very grounding this will get you some fresh air this will get you back in tune with nature for a little bit even if you do live in the city fresh air is always a nice thing the sky is always there to look up to but make sure that you are getting yourself exposed to some fresh air at least for a minute every single day it does wonders and you wouldn't think that that's the case as someone who works from home I'm in my house constantly and I'm like that's fine it's enough I don't need to go outside today but it really does make a difference once you step outside and take in a really nice fresh breath of air and once again it's something that's really grounding it's something that you don't realize you need until you do it and then you feel the impact of it so even if you have to step outside your front steps even if you have to open the windows and stick your head out even if you have to go down an elevator from your office building go outside and take a break there are so many other people that take cigarette breaks or other types of breaks beverage breaks whatever it may be so you can definitely afford to go outside for a minute and just simply get some fresh air all right friends so like i said those tips were really really simple really really basic let me know if one of these things are calling out to you and let me know which one you are definitely going to incorporate this week i would love to know which one feels most accessible to you thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope these tips are helpful especially for those who are really busy and have been asking the question to themselves or to me how do you make the time you can make the time even if it's as little as one minute one of the tips here <laughs> truly is to do something for one minute and you do have the time you just have to make the time for it and i know a lot of people say that but it really is true you have to make the time for it if it's something that's valuable to you so best of luck if you do struggle that's okay you can always try again thanks once again and i will talk to you in next week's video yeah.